Good morning and welcome back to our channel, Hume's Little Homestead. Today I am moving chickens around. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I need to move the meat birds into the chicken run because there's 19 of them. I, I bought 19 meat birds from Tractor Supply a week and a half ago, I want to say. Yeah. Anyway, I will get back to you on how old they are because at three weeks I'm going to be switching them to meat bird feed and just growing, growing, growing them because we are going to process them in between eight and 10 weeks. It is super important if you buy a meat bird, Cornish Cross is what I bought, that you fully commit to processing them at eight to 10 weeks. You may think, hey, I wanna get these birds and save them and make them my pet. They are not bred to be pets and they will gain a lot of weight and they will have a lot of health problems if you try and keep them past 10 weeks or, even 12 weeks of age is probably fine for processing. I'm just saying 8 to 10 weeks because I am like whoever's out there that wants to save everything. I'm like that and I'm like, okay, I'm committing to meat birds and I can already tell they are growing so fast. They're getting really big already. So I know these birds would have major health problems if I tried to like save them and keep them as pets. So they are meat birds and they will be processed at 8 to 10 weeks, which... I don't know, it's kind of a hard thing, but it's also, I feel like it's really cool to get in touch with because I feel like our society is so used to just going to McDonald's and getting chicken nuggets. We don't really think about where those chicken nuggets came from, how the chicken was processed, and we don't really think about those things because we don't have to anymore. And so to me, it's important, what I'm trying to learn, it's important for me to know that every meat source that we eat was an animal it was a living thing and we are eating it and i'm grateful for that i'm grateful i'm not i'm not going to become a vegetarian or anything i do like meat but i think it's important to just be thankful and give thanks to what we eat and how it was raised and so that's what i'm trying to do is learn a little bit more and grow our own food and that way i know that the animal had a happy life while we had it because it is a little scary how things are processed in mainstream like for fast food there's like no other way they could do it producing that amount of food for the cost that they produce it by but still it it does make me a little sad to think about how some of those animals are raised and how they are processed anyway i'm sure you can find videos on
they're growing so fast. I'm gonna grab the ducks and put them in their daily spot. And then I'll get their food and water. Everybody needs new food and water this morning. You are going to be amazed at how ginormous the ducks get, like overnight. <laughs> No chickens, you're staying in today. Look how much bigger they got, everybody. Isn't that crazy? Do you remember where to go? Do you remember? Soon you can be free ranging, but right now you have to go back in your home. That's where you want to go. Keep going. What? Yes. I'm gonna put new bedding in here because I wasn't using the nest boxes, so with the chicks in here. But the chickens need some nest nesting material. And they're confused, so I'm keeping the Easter eggs in there so they can know, hey, that's where I need to lay my egg. These two are on the ground. You can see they're dirty. I'm gonna take these ones, but I just want them to see that's where they're supposed to lay their eggs again. It really does work. It's kind of a weird trick, but it does work. Here's the five that are staying in here. And I let the rooster out so he wouldn't be bothering them because some of them are getting a little beat up and I don't like that. Like, look at that white one's back. So these ladies will be in here by themselves today. <clears throat> Got them fresh food and water and should be good.
Here is our finished chicken tractor. We still need to do something about the handle, but for now, we just use a twisty tie and there's no shade on it yet. We need to put some shade. But when the meat birds go in here all day, we'll have shade on it and we'll have more protection so that predators won't be able to get in as easy. But right now, these chicks are only going to be in here maybe two hours. They really like to forage for bugs. I've been doing this in the evening, but today we won't be here this evening because of t-ball. So I'm going to put them out here right now. And obviously I will still be putting food and water in there too. tell the difference in the meat birds and the egg layer birds. Yes, the obvious reason is they are different colors. <laughs> these are much darker than our meat birds. But these birds are more slender, agile, they can fly. The meat birds are getting big already and they don't really have the instinct to jump like I put them in their little container to move them this morning and they didn't try and jump out at all. They just kind of sat there like, oh, I guess we're moving. But these birds, they have more instinct to jump and fly and get away and they're more slender and just not growing as huge as the meat birds, as you can see. So something to note, what type of chicken you're looking at getting. So these are Easter Eggers and Olive Eggers and my meat birds are Cornish Cross. And our little one is just a barnyard mix. It's getting some brown on its feathers. It's very cute. Now just because they're outside doesn't mean they don't need their food and water pans. So make sure your birds have access to food and water, fresh food and water every day. Super important. Okay, Nala got a bath. Now she's getting muddy. Yes, she says she has to be dirty sometimes. <laughs> Hello, Oreo. So happy <laughs> she's jumping around. Did they get that sticky stuff off of you? Don't, don't jump on me. No. Oh. Hi, Emmett. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> These little polos are hilarious. <laughs> it's like a little Look old at man. Look her tail. Her tail is so fluffy. What the heck? <laughs> Did you enjoy your bath? No. <laughs> she, she got out once. She hated her bath. When Dad got her back in. Um, so we had finally gotten her in the bath. We were hosing her down and she just went, see ya. And I went, nope, get back in. Grabbed her, popped, right back in the 
Oh. And then and she stayed in for the rest. Yeah, no, no, then no, she hopped out again. And sometimes when we were doing the shampoo, then Dad was all like, Wet, "Oreo's terrified. He's shaking." I know. I locked the door because Mello was trying to go in too. <laughs> no way. You cannot come in in that state. He says. Throw it, Emmett. No, it's good. First technique was putting her favorite toy in there. She wouldn't even no, go first after technique that. was a bow. We were, she was all running toward us, but then we dropped it oh. in the middle hole instead of the side. She then wouldn't she do it. anything. Then we tried a milk bone. We put it on top and it was floating. And then Nala, it just floated right over to the side and Nala just took it. <laughs> oh, keep an eye on Amy. He's about to go for backwards. And then our technique was Caden goes into it and calls Nala in because he's the only one with swim trunks. It didn't yeah. work. So then we got that. Well, she got up. That's our last technique. I just knew they were having problems. <laughs> go ahead. Thanks for hanging out with us today. The last thing that we have to do today is laundry. Unfortunately, we have to do our laundry. We have not been doing it over the summer, so it has really piled up. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you're liking our videos, please like and subscribe. For those of you who have subscribed, thank you. And thanks for sharing this journey with us. We appreciate it. I hope these tips of chickens, like, I didn't give very many tips, but I hope that you understand the difference between meat chickens and egg laying chickens a little better now so you can know what kind you want to buy when you go to the store or when you order online. So I hope that was helpful. And the chicks all look like they're looking, liking their new area. And for all those kids out there, ask your dad to help you give a dog a bath. Apparently they had some struggles until Ryan helped. He actually has to go to work in a few minutes. so. Glad that he helped them wash the bath. Wash the bath. Give the dog a bath. Bye.